Hey guys, welcome back. This is it for Soul Eater Season 1, episode number 7 of my show. But this is about episode number 6. Now before I start talking about it, I just want to mention something. Um, Since I'm uploading at my apartment now, as I stated before in my previous video, um, I'll probably be uploading next week on Friday. And, uh... Then the week after that, on the weekend, on Saturday and Sunday, the next two weeks, I just thought I'd get that out of the way. And one last thing, um, um, also, I will be going to Winnipeg for that Timberwolves Bulls game, as I stated, but that won't be until October, uh, later this month, on the, um, October 10th, on the 10th of this month, so this will probably be, I'll probably be doing a couple more videos this week before I go for that trip and stuff, I just thought I'd get that out of the way, anyway, getting into it, this is History of Soul Leader, season 1, episode number 7 of my show, but this is about episode number 6, and uh, episode number 6 in the English dub is appropriately titled... Uh, the new student, kids first day at the academy, will it be an entrance to remember? Oh, just hold on, and, uh, the way this episode starts off is, um, it starts off with, um, uh, Maka and Subaki in the classroom, and, well, actually, first it starts off with Death the Kid at his house, and he's... Thing about the candles and the picture and stuff, and and he's telling Liz and Patty that now it's time to go off to school, off to school and stuff. And then Liz is saying that basically now he's in a rush to go. What's the use in the rain? They're already three, four hours late and stuff like that. And then basically what happens after that is it goes into the. So, <sighs> sorry about that, guys. It, then it goes into, the, then after the scene where it get, does the theme song, it goes into the introductory part of the episode, um, and, um, like, the one that takes place after the theme song and stuff, and then basically what happens is, um, Dr. Stein is, uh, saying what should they, do their science lesson be today, and he's, Saying that maybe they should do another dissection lab. And then, um, Marka is just saying to Dr. Stein, like, she's pointing out that ever since he, he became their teacher, all they've done is dissect animals every day. And stuff like that. Oh my god. And then he's saying that, but this time it's a different, um, this time it's, their specimen is more, um, is more interesting than a mouse or frog, and he said that they'll be uh, dissecting into a rare species of cuckoo bird, which is basically in a, which is a, in, well, a, in this case, a rare endangered uh, cuckoo bird, and then, and then they're all like, dissect an endangered species! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, I gotta laugh at that. And then Marcus is saying that, um, they shouldn't do that because it's very rare, almost extinct. And, um, Stein is saying that that's all the more reason for them to, um, that's all the more reason for them to dissect one before the entire species becomes extinct and stuff. And then, um, it, Marcus says that Stein is seriously crazy and stuff. Oh my god. I just thought I'd get that out of the way. That's funny. Oh my god. Anyway, um, continuing on with what I was saying, um, <laughs> um, uh, he, she's looking at Tsubaki and then she's wondering why she's kind of upset and then Stein is inquiring as to why, uh, Blackstar and Soul aren't with them and stuff. And then Marcus says that they're, those two are probably skipping and stuff again. 
<laughs> and then basically, um, then Subaki has a little bit of a flash thing to something that Black Star says, where he says he's apologizing to Subaki, but um, they're switching now, and he's gonna be Souls Meister from now on and stuff. And um, and oh, sorry about that, guys. I was just adjusting my iPad there so you could see my face better. I, I apologize. Anyway, continuing on, um, continuing on with what I was saying, uh, Maka is saying that if Blackstar and Soul wanted to be together so much, then why don't they just be partners, and then, uh, Tsubaki is saying that that'll never happen, and she starts shaking her, and then Stein saying that they'll probably miss out on all the excitement. He said that they all probably should have heard by now, but a new student will be joining their class today. And then Kid and Liz and Patty show up at the school and stuff. And then, um, well, before they show up, uh, Blackstar is saying that uh, everyone's been focusing on the, talking about the new kid instead of him and stuff. And then basically what happens is He's gonna have to kill him and stuff, and then he he says that he then he's wondering when kid's gonna get there anyway because he's been waiting for like four hours and stuff like that. And then basically what happens is um then basically what happens after that is then he shows up with Liz and Patty, and then they're inquiring about the academy and stuff. And then basically, um, Soul is asking Kid if he's the person that they've been hearing so much about. And then he's saying that it's his first day. Has he come to show them around and stuff? And then Soul starts laughing and saying that basically, um, he's saying that basically he showed up three hours late. Four hours later, and he expects them to, and he's thinking that, so, and he said that kid's thinking that he'll just give him a tour. If he sure, if he showed up at seven like he was supposed to, like everyone else, he could have looked around by himself. Oh my god. And then, kid's inquiring about that saying seven, and then he freaks out saying that, say eight, because eight is better, and then, so is in, now this is another thing about a sym symmetry thing because if you guys remember back when I did the video with the character bios I stated uh, that Kid was my least favorite character because of his obsession with symmetry and stuff like that and it kind of makes him a bit weird and he's saying that it's very strictly impossible for the number seven to be uh, Symmetrical because it couldn't happen in that because it happens and stuff like that. And it has to be eight instead. Eight isn't cut and have horizontally or vertically. It's, it's perfectly symmetrical. And then he's telling Soul to take it back and please say eight instead. And then Soul's wondering a, what if something's wrong with it. And then Liz is saying that yes, he's completely insane. Which I personally I agree with that. He's a little bit. Cuckoo! That's just my honest opinion. I'm uploading this to YouTube, and this is and YouTube is about people's opinions and stuff. Um, so that's just my opinion. He's a little loco because of his uh, uh obsession with symmetry and stuff like that. I just thought I'd get that out of the way. And then Liz looks up into the area where Black Star is. And she thinks that Black Star might be some kind of monkey. <laughs> oh my God! He thinks that he might be some kind of monkey and stuff. And he, she's telling Kid that he, she thinks that that kid is trying to tell him something. And then Black Star falls off, and then he breaks apart of the building. And then Kid gets upset about that. And then that's what kind of starts the fight because the balance of the building is off, which causes the symmetry to go out of whack. <laughs> oh my God. And then he says that Blackstar is a disgusting pig. 
Does he really expect to pick a fight with a Grim Reaper and stuff? And then basically what happens is... <laughs> he's telling Liz and Patty to go to weapon form. And then, um... Liz is saying that basically, um... They've been... They've done nothing but fight since they got off the streets. And she needs a break from that and stuff. And then basically what happens is after that, um... Basically, what happens after that is, um, they transform into their weapon form, which is the guns and stuff, and then, uh, Blackstar is telling Soul to get ready to go, and then Soul is saying that Blackstar is the one who wants to fight, not him, and he says that he'll play along, but he's warning Kid that if they do this, then he'll lose, and then... Soul thinking that Kid was strong enough to take down Anubis, so there's no telling what he would be capable of. And then Black starts inquiring about all the kids saying things about Kid and stuff like that. All the other students in the school saying about Kid like that, and and then Kid's inquiring that Black Star and Soul might not be perfect. But they did manage to defeat Sin and hold off Dr. Stein's attacks. So, so by that logic, he'll have to keep his guard up and stuff. And then basically what happens after that is, um, then they start fighting and then later on, one of the students recognize, notices Blackstar and Soul fighting outside. And then basically what happens after that is Maka is reminding um, uh, Professor Stein about one of the rules about two Meisters fighting on campus. It's basically the rule states that in order for the duel to continue, there must be a teacher there to witness it. And Stein said that basically he, he'd hate to stop the experiment at a crucial juncture like the way it's going now, but, um, it can't be helped, as Soul and Blackstar's partners, Maka and Tsubaki, are to come with him, and he says that, as Soul and Blackstar's partners, Maka and Tsubaki have to go with him, and the rest of, and he tells the rest of them to basically just study something for the time being, and then they went, then they end up at the outside area, and then, and then Blackstar is saying that they, but before that, um, Stein is saying that they, Blackstar and Soul should have picked a better opponent than that, and then, than the one they're fighting now, which is Kid, and then Mark is inquiring about the boy with the guns, which is also Kid and stuff, and he's the new kid that everyone's been talking about, and basically, uh, Stein says that is correct, um, that... Kid is Lord Dev's very own flesh and blood. It was his decision to come to the academy of his own free will, but he won't be as any other normal student. His abilities are far more advanced than the others. And then basically what happens is, um, Subaki's wondering why, and then she's having another flash memory to what, to what Blackstar said about them switching, and then, uh, Maka is wondering if Tsubaki's okay. And then, basically what happens is, um, Stein is saying that he has a special lesson in mind for Maka today. Which in this case, um, is, she wa he wants him, he wants her to take a closer look at the duel. Um, watch Kid as he fights and stuff. And then... He's saying that he wants her to pay close attention to the his to kid and his partner's soul wavelengths. And then when she uses her soul perception, she says that basically, um, normally, it's um, almost impossible for a person to match soul wavelengths with two weapons like that. But the connection between all three of them together is so strong. And the weapons appear to share 
a sort of fondness, but then she uses another word for that, which is basically, uh, like, actually, first she uses the word respect, but that's not exactly the word she uses. She, she says that the word is actually, um, admiration, and then basically, um, Lord Death is, uh, I mean, uh, Stein is basically saying that she's correct. The... The two weapons that he's holding are known as the twin pistols, the Thompson sisters. Their lives were much more different before they met Kid. It... It works out... It, um... Makes sense that they would have a sort of mutual respect for him and stuff. And uh, he's saying that the... Um... Partnership works out well for Kid as well because... Basically, the Thompson sisters' laid-back attitudes, um, they help Kid by quieting his neurotic tendencies, which is basically his, um, his obsession with symmetry and stuff, but I just thought I'd get that out of the way. Anyway, continuing on, um, anyway, continuing on, um, then Mark is saying that they couldn't compare the... There are two idiots out there, which is the old black star, and then, and then black, and then, and then Soul, um, tries to hit, hit Kid with his scythe part of his hand, but he uses his gun to block it, and then he points the other one at his soul, at Soul's stomach, at Soul's stomach, and then basically he pulls the trigger and then shoots an energy blast out of it, and then he says, "Oh damn, that really is." Now, basically, the the Thompson sisters aren't uh, like regular guns. They don't shoot bullets. They actually shoot compressed versions of their Meister's soul, which which is kind of impressive, in my personal opinion. And anyway, continuing on, um. Blackstar is saying that they can't even get close to him. And then... And then... Kid is saying that they want a more up close and personal fight by me. And then he... They continue fighting. And then basically... Uh... When... Blackstar has Soul transform into his sight to try to catch him. He accidentally catches him with his head. Which kind of cuts him open. Oh my god. And then he... And then he basically, um, tries to lift Soul, but he says he's heavy. And now basically the reason why he actually can't lift him is because they're lacking in the Soul Wavelength compatibility department and stuff. And basically, and then, and then Blackstar accidentally hits Soul with his Soul Wavelength. And then after that, they have a little emotional conversation. And, and then Kid kind of breaks it up. I, well, actually, first what happens is Kim wants to break it up, but then Liz is saying that it's just about to get good and stuff. And then basically what happens after that is um, they keep having their mutual talk. And then, um, then they start running towards each other. And then basically what happens is, um, basically what happens after that is <laughs> Kid pulls the trigger, then Marcus says that those two need professional help. <laughs> oh my god. And then, um, they hug each other and stuff, and then Kid pulls the trigger on them, and he's apologizing, saying that his finger slipped. <laughs> and then they can get back into the fighting, and then they manage to defeat him by, um, having Soul turn into his side, and then... Then when the fighting is over, after the kid uses his soul resonance attack, which is the death cannon, he, um, he basically spits up blood, and, and then he, Stein's wondering what happened, and then, um, well, first, basically, Stein is saying that it's a decisive defeat for, by Blackstar and and soul because they get defeated by kid and then basically what happens is he's saying that but they can hardly expect anything less from the son of the Grim Reaper 
and he says that his abilities are far more advanced than any of the other students at the academy, and he, somehow he thinks he's not showing them their true potential and stuff. He's not showing his true potential. And basically what happens is he's saying that what he wouldn't give to poke around on the inside of that. And then basically the kid spits up blood. And then and then Liz and Patty turn back into their human forms. And then Stein's wondering what happened. And then Mark is inquiring as to how what actually happened. And then it goes to a little scene. You see, when Soul transformed into his scythe form, he he kind of cut off a piece of hair from the uh, kid's bangs and when and when the smoke died down and the damage was uh, and the fight was over kid realized that one of the ends of his hair was shorter than the other and his symmetry was off and he spit up blood and then <laughs> soul is saying that he's the one that's bleeding now so that means they won the fight and then blackstar is saying that basically um then Blackstar is basically saying that he, he knew it, um, who's going to be talking about a kid anymore and stuff like that, and then, um, Lord Death shows up at the, with the others, and he's saying that he heard that his son had a very eventful first day of school, he, and he's saying that kid can be a little wreck, hard to handle sometimes, and he, Hopes that no one is hurt too badly. And then basically, Maka is wondering um, uh, what Lord Death's soul looks like. And then she uses her soul perception to look. Oh, oh but before I get into that, uh, she goes to where um, Soul is and she's telling him not to get into any stupid kind of fights. And then she's telling him that that's the kind of thing he used to tell her. And then he basically said that he was basically the uncool one of... The bunch then, that time around, and then basically, like I said, it goes back to where, uh, getting back into what I was saying earlier, Lord Death shows up, and then Marker's wondering what the soul of Lord Death looks like, and th so she uses her soul perception to take a look, but then she can only see, um, Death, uh, the, she can only see Kid, uh, Liz, and Patty's soul, and not Lord Death, and she's wondering, that because kids is son and he has a soul um so he's she saw it with her own eyes so why couldn't she see lord death now the reason why she couldn't see it is she thinks that she that lord death is possible that he didn't even have a soul and she says whatever but really his soul is there it's just bound to death city and that's basically where this episode stops so if you guys like this video on youtube when it's uploaded just please give it the real best you guys can and I'll see you guys next time and watch it or I'll take your soul.